Hi, my name is Brennan. I'm with Magistrate Hydraulics, and I'd like to take a few minutes today to explain how to measure for the proper replacement of a hydraulic cylinder. Every day, I speak with multiple people in regards to how to take the proper measurements, so now we've decided to show you on video. First, you'll need some tools. You'll need a tape measure and a micrometer if you have one available. First, you need to figure out what type of cylinder you're using whether it's a single acting, double acting, or telescopic. For our purposes, purposes today, we're going to be using double acting cylinders. So once you know what type of cylinder you're using, you need to figure out how it's mounted to your equipment. Here we have a cross tube attachment, a pin eye, and a clevis. While I have this clevis, I'll show you the cutout of the cylinder. We've got the rod and the bore. So once you know what type of uh, cylinder you're using and how it's attached, you need to figure out your bore diameter. To do this, if you have the cylinder apart, all you measure is the face of the bore. If you do not have the cylinder taken apart, you need to measure the circumference of the case. Once you have that number, you divide that by pi, or 3.14. So it's the circumference divided by pi. And then once you have that, if you're using a standard type cylinder, you take that number, and then you still have to subtract the wall thickness. So you take that number and measure or and subtract anywhere from 3 16th to 1 quarter of an inch on each side. And that will give you the bore diameter. So once you know your bore diameter, you need to figure out your rod diameter. If you have a micrometer, set it right over the rod. 1.25, or 1 and a quarter inches. If you don't have the micrometer, you can do the same thing with your tape measure by measuring the circumference and dividing by pi or 3.14. So once you know your bore diameter and your rod diameter, you want to figure out your pinhole diameter. If you have your micrometer, measure the inside where the pinhole is. One inch. Or with your tape measure, just measure across the face of the pin, one inch. So now you know your bore diameter, rod diameter, and the pinhole diameter. But last, you need to figure out your stroke. So to figure out the stroke, you need to have two measurements. You need to have the measurement of the cylinder in its extended length and its, and its retracted length. Right here we have one in its retracted length. To figure out that length, you measure from the center to the center of the pinhole. For example, here we have 16 inches. Then on your machinery, you'll want to extend the cylinder. And once it's extended in its full, full position, you measure again, center to center of the pinhole. You take those two measurements, the greater one, which would be the extended length, minus the retracted length, and that will give you the stroke. So once again, the extended length minus the retracted length gives you the stroke of the cylinder. So once you have all those measurements, you need to refer to uh, the manufacturer's cylinder drawing. For example, this one is ours, and it has a chart down at the bottom where you can match up your measurements with the proper cylinder for, for replacement. Hope this video helped you today figure out how to uh, replace a uh, cylinder. And uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 1-844-MAGISTER or visit us at magisterhydraulics.com. Thank you.